I see what oh, Joel's yeah. trying to do. Joel's like, I'm not going to talk at all, but then we can't start the show, Joel. <laughs> yeah, Joel. <laughs> you can't do an anniversary comment show and not start it properly, Joel. Somebody, somebody's got to fire off the firing shot, Joel. So, so you got to <laughs> say something. Just start. I will not be paid. Shut up, Joel, and welcome to the weekly poll. <laughs> We needed uh, Joe. We couldn't start the episode proper without the shut up, Joel. It's like on one hand, I know what they're going to do, but on the other hand, yeah, I get to start the show. That's a pretty big responsibility. Exactly. Will, we can't honestly, start it until you do that. All right, guys, if you're joining yeah. us for the first time, welcome big to the deal. weekly poll. This is what was once a weekly pop culture podcast. Now it's every other week, so we can talk about some cool stuff and we have stuff to talk about. It's hosted yeah. by your favorite <clears throat> comic book channels, Comic Storian, Comics Explained. Kate, Joel, uh, Comic Pop, and Comic Pop. I was just trying to like, make sure I didn't, yeah. For the record, yeah. for the record, even the nice one in our group was waiting for you because I saw her smiling and nodding her head waiting for you to talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany's the nice one. Even Tiffany was laughing at you. <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> what else? It says I'm terrible. Terrible. <laughs> you're a terrible person. All right, guys. So terrible once again, just so you know how this whole thing is funded, we are, the, the entire weekly poll is a uh, a program that we bring to you guys every other week simply because we enjoy doing it. We like talking about stuff. We like talking to you. But that does not mean that Danielle, the individual who is in the... Thank you so much for the subscription. That is what I was just about to talk about. NG <laughs> uh, uh, Demigod. NG Demigod. Spooch. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, we do this for fun, but in order to make sure that these episodes go elsewhere from Twitch, meaning they go up to YouTube, they go up to the sound version, they do all of that stuff, that is Dana Chu in the chat, and she does need some kind of uh, of money, because we just talk for an hour, but she has to work to get it all to work right for Oh, you. that's Danielle? I never knew who that was. <laughs> yeah, that's Danielle. She's in the chat. What's going on, Danielle? <laughs> What's up, girl? <laughs> All and these heaps, years later. thank you so much for the subscription. Anyway, what I'm saying is yeah, your subscriptions heaps. that you put towards the, the weekly poll today. With 11 months in a row. Rob, can't even Live. let me pitch what we're doing. 11 <laughs> months in a row. Spooge. Anyway, guys, anyway. any sub that comes in today and tomorrow goes towards the weekly poll fund, which allows us to keep the show going. The, the fact is, we do this for fun. If Danielle doesn't upload this, then we will keep doing this on Twitch. But if you want it to live everywhere else, then you need to help support us. The, if you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to the audio, it's twitch.tv slash eligiblemonster. Go right on over. And yet another... <laughs> Longjar has gifted a uh, 4.99 sub <laughs> to <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> wow. uh, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you have access to the emojis now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh man! Uh, so anyway, um, today we we the primary focus of today is since there is not that major news, there is two big. But thank you, Combat Wombat four ninety nine. That's yeah. a name. name. As we get that into is... the topic, though, guys, we will kind of slow down on the, the interrupting everything so we can we can do the topics. There's only two kind of major things to talk about on the air today. Then we're going to go into like an anniversary comment show. We've had Mopey. Go back through and drum up from 40 to 60 comments across all of the videos on YouTube. Holy Maybe hell. you'll be in it, and we're going to discuss it. I was going to do it, but I felt that the comment selection would be very biased to making fun <laughs> of Joel and Rob. So yeah. <laughs> Needed really? an impartial third party on this. Right, so we had Mopey get them. So if this I is mean... all making fun of Joel, not my fault. In the right. words of Joel, we are Russian rouletting our comments. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. We we don't know what's gonna be. Could be anything. I'm excited and I'm terrified. You said you said something like no holds barred, right? You're yeah. like so it could be nice, it could be horrible. We don't know. <laughs> we are yeah. talking about comments, so I mean like that's so, ninety percent terrible. Let's we'll talk about two big topics and no one wants to talk about first. Well, topic. actually, actually, I did have a question real quick. Yes. Oh. Not really a question so much as a splooge <laughs> with a combat wombat and a splooge for the the tell me? Tommy, 8,900. Four months. Splish, 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 splish. <laughs> Guys, just for the record, anybody who subs right now, I'm sure Danielle is super thankful because that is how... Matter of fact, she sent the invoice over today. I was able to pay it, like, within a minute. <laughs> Woo! <Nice. laughs> she didn't have to wait. We just paid her. <laughs> wow. That's cool. 
I guess. Rain. So okay, so let's talk about the big right. the big top one right now. Everyone, ever we were talking about it, then we had all the issues. But Jeff Johns is working with the DC direction, but they're changing up everything going on at DC. Was there mm -hmm. anything more to really say about that or talk about that? No, no, because we, we don't know we anything. Thought, about we, we thought they were losing Jeff Johns, but it turns out no. No, it was, it was another guy named Jeff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the information that we had pre-show, if you were listening, was incorrect from what we've gathered. Thank yeah, you. they they cut Jeff Johns loose. Like why? Whoa. Who so would think that would Emergency be a good Emergency Awesome just linked this to me. Uh -oh. Apparently, due to the Logan Paul situation, which we all knew was going to have some kind of a backlash, yes. uh -huh. I, I don't know how true this is. This is what he sent me in a message, and he linked to the thing. But YouTube is kicking out channels with less than 1,000 subscribers. Ooh. What? What? If you have less than 1,000 subs, they're kicking you out of the partner eligibility. You can't be a partner. That's not a solution. And we've just That's not anything. <laughs> No, that isn't a solution because the problem is Logan Paul's like 10 million subs. Yeah. If he was a thousand subs, know. I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Get rid of him. You know? Right. What, what, what kind of bizarro world does YouTube live in? We're not going to uh, punish the problem people. We're going to punish everyone else. Well, no, they did yes. punish him. But they're like, he fucked up and all of you will also pay. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. It's like the kid in class that won't fess up to like taking a dump on the teacher's <laughs> desk. So we're all going to get detention? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, in that kid's defense, uh, what he didn't have was John Mord Beard subscribing to him. <laughs> and he's gone. And he, <laughs> it's like, you know what? No, you know, okay, oh, he's okay. back. And I think, I think about this. Like, like because yep. I love it when Sal does this. I, I think about this. Every single time, like like somebody subscribes, they're like, "Hey, this looks cool," and they sub, and then it's just like like I'm just like, "Yeah, smooth," and I feel like they just kind of look and they're just like, "Nope," and then they, they unsub. Like, uh, <laughs> here comes the splooge. Well, because I you, you always you always uh, switch it up. I never know what to expect. Yeah. Even though I always know what to expect. <laughs> like, you switch I always, it up. It's almost like yeah. Sal is getting out of the way of the potential splooge. Yeah, I'm like, no. <laughs> Splooges are a very exciting time. Yeah. Uh, grab your umbrella. Very exciting time. Yeah, very exciting time. Wow, well, that'll be fucked. Fooly cooly god. Thank you. That's what I've been doing now um, when we do gameplay streams. I just crack a kakakroom. The worst part is I give a crack a -ka for every month of the sub. So we had someone suffer 31 months. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Are you serious? You yeah. did it 31 times? I was going, crack, 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 crack. I ran out of air. My <laughs> hair was all over the place. <laughs> Holy crap. That's one hell of a lightning bolt. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, it, Tavia, I don't, we don't know how long. What, what you heard is what Emergency Awesome sent me. I couldn't read the article, obviously. Well, I like how you know how to maintain anonymity. Like, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, really? This person <laughs> sent me this. No, they know that we're friends with him. I mean, he just said, hey, this is the link. <laughs> and he gave me the link. Oh, so, great. hey, if you guys have any secret information that you don't want people knowing you gave me, yeah, tell me. Any. And, and I'll, I'll just tell you on the stream. <laughs> or uh, be sure to Rob, uh, Long Tower has stream. gifted you a sub. Uh, what? You are now wow. subscribed to our channel. Uh... <laughs> Rob, <laughs> Marvel slash comics explain. Splooge, <laughs> I've splooged myself. Wow, it was bound to happen eventually. I, I splooged myself. Even even Danielle's like splooge yourself, Rob. <laughs> oh, I splooged myself. That sounds really messed up. <laughs> And now this sound bite will live forever. <laughs> yeah. Can, I've never seen that. Bro, we hit that with a clip. I want to have that memed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. So, the other news you guys are talking about it when I came back Deadpool is apparently going to compete with Infinity War. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're releasing it in May. It's so an dumb. Odd bit of chess. Here's a, but here's a it... bit of question about that, though. Oh my god. What? The Flashpoint, the Flash solo movie is going to be directed by the Spider-Man writers. The guys who wrote Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, that that'll be good. They've gone yeah. through so many great years. Is this official now? That's trending on Twitter right now. Yeah, it's been announced. Oh, I no. thought it was Robert Zemeckis. That's too bad. But still uh, awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, well, as far as far as the Deadpool thing goes, so we can eventually move on to these comments that we've drummed up. Moby <laughs> spent all this time putting them together. Um, okay. Yeah. News won't stop I breaking. Have a, I have a theory. A tinfoil hat theory. I don't have a tinfoil hat around me. I, 
uh, a comb in my hair. I've got a pick like Rob Theory. Okay. So <laughs> not the same. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> not the same. Um, what if Disney, now that they own Deadpool, wants it to underperform so that they can argue it shouldn't be R rated? Um, that is a oh, no, they, don't, they, don't, uh, they don't own it yet. It hasn't been approved by the FTC. Oh, yeah. okay. So this is Fox being stupid. This is Fox. Yeah, Fox is being oh. dumb. Now, um, my, thought, my thought is that Deadpool is going to show up in Infinity War. Yeah. That'd yeah. be a great theory. Like, I mean, like, that'd be yeah. amazing. Like, they're like, who are you? It's like, I'm Deadpool. It's like, how did you get here? I don't know because Disney ha- doesn't own me yet. So <laughs> I have no idea. How I'm yeah, he's like, it doesn't make any sense. I shouldn't be here. Yeah, it's <laughs> but it's a foregone conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be, that is, if, if he shows up, like, if, if the move is a way to say, like, we finalized the deal a long time ago and it's actually all in the, like, it's all been in the works for a long time, then it's a post credit scene that they shot, like, while they were shooting Deadpool. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm. Um, <clears throat> which is fine. I'll take that. Or <laughs> they uh, they put Infinity War into the post credit scene of Deadpool. Like <laughs> at the end of Deadpool, like Deadpool shows up in Infinity War. Nice, uh, Sal. Yeah. Uh, Rob has to splooge on you. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that to Sal. me? No. Can you, can you at least Sal. buy him dinner first? Can you at least buy him a drink? Sal with comic pop. You get the most sensual. <laughs> yes, you do. I have splooged on Sal. <laughs> well, this isn't awkward. <laughs> oh, I splooged on Sal. I, I just have these images of Joel being like, I'm going to uh, oh. quietly sub real fast before somebody gets <laughs> 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 oh, this is an interesting anniversary show. Rob gets a splooge everyone. Yes, <laughs> I get to thank splooge you on people. For your gift. All right, uh, so. it, it is the splooge anniversary. That's the gift <laughs> you're supposed to give. The splooge anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. So let's. Uh, let's <laughs> Moby said. Moby clipped it and named the clip "Worth It." <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. All right, you guys want to go to these comments? You want to see how yes. bad or good they are? God's sake. Let's 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 pay our money and take our chances. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> and, and hey, it, just to say, if they're uh, bad and we clap back, I think we're well within our right to clap back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. On the Thor Ragnarok talk and more episode, mm-hmm. uh, Crescian Medston. I, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna butcher every name. <laughs> yeah. it sounded like you just casted left. a spell. <laughs> <laughs> I cast a spell on you. <laughs> And now you're mine. <laughs> All right, so, gotta I love be honest, the shut up Joel thing has crossed into bullying territory now. It looks like he plays it off, but I don't think he cares for it. But then again, he hasn't said anything to Benny behind the scenes. I get, if he has it, I guess it's all good. But I really get a sense that one day he's going to snap at Benny and things are going to get awkward. Also, understand the cross promotion, but can you guys, but can you guys bigger by three to four times if we do this format again? Uh, yeah, we can bigger. Okay, we can yeah, bigger. We can, yeah, we can definitely bigger it up all around. <laughs> all no, right, Joel, I, am I? I let's, 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 let's put it out there. Am I bullying you? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Without a doubt. Bullying. <laughs> workplace bullying. You have grounds for a hostile workplace, Joel. I know, Ooh. right? I'm keeping that uh, one in the old back pocket. <laughs> make a make a legal. There is case. no HR. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> there is no <laughs> wait, HR. Wait, 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 I am HR. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Toby. Yeah. yeah, what do you what do you like what do you do when like the HR rep is the one being bullied? Like who do they yeah. report to? <laughs> I've often wondered, yeah. They report to themselves. Benny, I'd yeah. like to see you in the office. Uh, I have a complaint against you. Who's it from, Joel? Well, I can't tell you that, but it's me. I'm complaining. Yeah. <laughs> I need but it's me. I, I just like that. I, I made sure I was saying the comment right. Also understand the cross promo, but can we can we make you guys bigger? Oh, can we make oh, us bigger? You said, oh. I, I'm assuming we must have been talking about it and doing something else. Right. Maybe, maybe that mm. was during the Destiny thing. I think it yeah. was. Huh. Mm. So okay, I like I like Fred Fred Bushy. He's like we talk in camics. <laughs> <laughs> camics. I like that. Camics. Okay, camics. Uh, camics. Uh, Jason Young saw Thaw Raggy last night. It's epic. Oh. But Rob is entirely wrong on his imagined synopsis. Other than that, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. 
<laughs> but it, right. I can't even tell you what I had to eat last week. I have no idea what that meant. What that <laughs> I think that about. was. I think you were. I think you were like, "This is what might happen in the movie," and he's like, "I saw it, and that's not what happened." And it's like, "Yeah, well, I didn't see oh, the movie, so yeah, I, I haven't seen the movie." Yeah. <laughs> well, I, and, I, and I will. I will vouch for Rob has gotten into heated troll debates with me. Where a week later, I've hit up Rob. I'm like, dude, we really got to talk this out. I don't want to be fighting. I want to argue. And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, Rob, that's yeah. what we were talking about. He's like, can we just go get fucking lunch? Like, <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know oh, what you're talking no, about, I don't man. care about that anymore. <laughs> get it together. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about that anymore. I don't, I don't care. I've learned, Rob moving out here, I've learned a few things about Rob's personality. One of which, if Rob is really heated, you will only know if it's the next day. <laughs> yeah. Because if not he true seems at all. heated, most likely he's not, and it'll be gone in like 30 minutes. That's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. it's kind Robert, of crazy. hooray! Joel's back. Fave part of the poll. Aw, aw, that's, that's nice. nice. That's sweet. Aw, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Rob that's Suma. Hey so guys, sweet. I just asked Ethan Van Skyver if he'd like to be on the podcast, and he said yes. So could you ask him? LOL. It'd be really interesting to watch you talk about comics with a pro for an hour. Yeah, well, we we I agree. Uh, me and Rob yeah. have been talking with Ethan for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a cool guy. Yeah. That's not a, that's not a challenging one at all. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you asked us to get Jeff Johns. <laughs> hey, Dude, Jeff Johns. the first splooge, he'd be like, all right, well, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. That'd I got be, kids. That'd be exactly it. <laughs> it's like, what the I can't be on seen here. here. No. Like, what, right, what, Scott what, what Stoffenberg. I really want Bruce Banner to make a slight reference to Jennifer Walters. Bruce, if you need a lawyer, I have a cousin. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get that. No, she, no, no She Hulk at all. No. no, I don't think she'll ever be a thing. Matter of fact, if you oh. read the She Hulk comics, she's still not a thing. Yeah. I've, well, they I've, are. Side rant: I've never read a comic about a superhero that I want to read about that doesn't feature the goddamn superhero. Mm. Mm. If no, if no one's been reading Jen She Hulk, the actual She Hulk shows up for like a panel or two each comic. Yeah, I read the first arc mm, and was like, okay, bye. Yeah. I read I the first arc, it. and I'm sitting here like, Hulk out, Hulk out, Hulk out. Like, that is the whole point of your character. Hulk yeah. out. I, <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, every, I, like, I, huh? What are you saying, Joel? I was, I was going to say, what I What I was saying was. <laughs> fuck you, but go on. <laughs> no, you're fine. Go ahead, man. I was going to say, I respect the book from, like, a bar bat point of view. Like, I bet I can write a whole Hulk book where there's barely any Hulk in it at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I was reading that, and I was like, that reminds me of the scene from Iron Man when what's-his-name was like, here's a weapon manufacturer that doesn't make weapons. I'm like, yeah, here's a, here's a whole comic about somebody who doesn't Hulk out. Yeah, like, here's a whole comic where nobody smashes. Like, I, I, get, I, get, I get the argument, oh, she's dealing with the loss of her cousin. I get that. She's dealing with how to move on. I get that. Yep. But we're still writing a Hulk comic. It's, it's yeah. like, that's good for an arc, but then after that, it's like, and get your shit together, please. That's, yeah. that, that, to like, me, that's, that's a one was shot. That the idea was she was afraid of hulking out because she had like PTSD from her experience of being She-Hulk. Right on, and then and they're building and like the whole the story arc, the first arc, you're building towards her hulking out. So each issue where she doesn't hulk out, you're like, oh my god, what's gonna make it? What's gonna make it happen? And then it does, and it's so anticlimactic and it's mm -hmm. over with before you know it. Yeah, and it doesn't mean anything or have any bearing on the character really. And it, it, it's it's so trite. It was like. It, I saw it, it. They were doing something interesting, or they were trying to, and it just it just didn't get executed properly. It she just didn't work. She was handled better in the Thor comic, where she was like a cameo fighting. I think it was Thor fighting Thor. She was fighting someone. Uh, she was better as a cameo oh, in that yeah. other book. That was a fun one. No, no, no. That was uh, that wasn't that was uh, Amadeus Cho, and oh. um, no, like she was better in New Avengers when she hulked out during Avengers Disassembled and oh, yeah. wrecked the Avengers and the <laughs> Avengers Mansion. Yeah, <laughs> that rocks. She was. That was amazing. I, she has had good series. Yeah. The John Byrne series, still slightly better than the Dan Slott series, but the Dan mm -hmm. Slott series, really fun. Oh, I don't yeah. know what that artist was in the first couple of arcs, but totally different and very interesting. Oh, you he's know what else? Guy, yeah. No, go ahead, man. Oh, he's the guy who wrote the scene where Spider Man sues J.J. Jameson, mm. and Spider Man's on the stand, and he says, The reason why J.J. Jameson didn't like me is because I'm black. <laughs> Just <laughs> so great. <laughs> And then J.J. Jameson's like, uh, but all my, all my best friends are blood. Uh, uh, <laughs> and he's like, are you really? And Spider-Man's like, no, I'm just messing with you. Anyway, uh, I'm, good. <laughs> I'm not racist. Look how many black friends I have. Dude, that, yeah. that is a I comment I've noticed quite a few right? times, in a, especially yeah. on the gaming channel. 
Like, mm-hmm. someone will make a comment, like, a racist comment, and they'll end it with, it's okay, I'm black. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> right. I know Rob's seen them because I know he reads the comments over there. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> um, you know what else is really cool? What? One of my favorite moments from She-Hulk. Yeah. In fact, it wasn't a She-Hulk moment. It was a <laughs> DNGN moment where they subscribed... How, how long do they subscribe? There, there, some people were talking in the chat. Uh, for one month in a row. <laughs> <laughs> feel like that was slightly anticlimactic. It was a little anticlimactic. I was hoping it was going to be like 11 likes like or something. Yeah. All right, so yes. Corey Lucas. Guys, it's time to move on from the DC flack. How do you guys know that D- WB doesn't have a plan? <laughs> because they have a plan, they because we have it. eyes and ears and taste. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what? You know, l- let me repeat what happened this morning for Newswise, where the entire lineup was basically fired. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, like bringing, in, out. bringing in all those people and then having the movies do bad and then fire them. That's all part of the plan. Yeah, all part of the plan. <laughs> so, we want at least two Batmans and three canceled versions of his own movie. And we want also, all of the movies except for Wonder Woman to tank. Yeah. And, uh, and we want the worst performing superhero team movie since Avengers, the one with Sean Connery where he plays the weatherman, uh, based off of that awful TV show with the Brit characters. Oh, yes. No, dude, I liked, I liked that movie. Yeah, that, made, that movie made a buck and a quarter. In their game language, a tuppence. I didn't, I, didn't say, I didn't say it was good. I yeah, said no, I like it. I, I hate that movie because I remember when they were announcing the Avengers movie, like back in 1996 or whatever, I'm like, holy shit, they're making an Avengers movie? And yeah, then I saw it, like, then I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. that, oh. I thought the same thing. I'm like, oh, dude, Captain America. Yeah! And <laughs> Iron Man and Hulk. And we get to see stuff fight as Sean Connery. And we're going to play chess without actually yeah. looking at the board. And I'm like, and I was oh, like, <laughs> no. Damn it. Great finds and Uma uh, Thurman ass. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind no. of... I, I, I enjoy it. Like, it's a great popcorn flick, but... It's so uh, terrible. I watched it maybe a couple years ago. I'm like, whoof! It was... Un- <laughs> I couldn't finish it. I was like, okay, well, that's that. Uh, anyway. No, um, I saw it on DirecTV back when Dad used to buy movies on DirecTV and then record nice. them. So we were- <laughs> <laughs> I did that, too. Record nice. them on VCR, yeah, right. so- We gotta keep going. I got a lot of comments here. Moby, I'm okay. feeling bad about having you get extra comments. Feel like this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Let's Edwards, you guys rock. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. AKA Chris. Six months in a row, Splooge. Okay. <laughs> hey, Thanks. how do you do it differently every time? I know. I don't know, man. Talent. I just, I just let my I let my Splooge imagination run wild. <laughs> <laughs> Raw talent. running wild. <laughs> all right, all right. So anyway, you guys rock. Uh, Paul Estrada 2. The Ragnarok film is basically Bill and Ted get superpowers because they turn Thor into a joke, cracking surfer dude. <laughs> Yes, and I was okay with that. Yeah, that, that yeah. was fine. I like that. It's, it's yeah. superior to his other characterization where he was just kind of the boring, serious one of the Avengers. Right? Yeah. yeah. And clearly, he's cool with it. He yeah. wants to do more. He was, uh, he was Captain Freedom with a hammer. <laughs> and, and I like <laughs> Thor 1. I'm probably the only one who I will fight Thor 1 or fight for Thor 1 because it's the best He Man movie ever made. <laughs> By the power like... of Asgard. <laughs> Did you guys see they just announced, uh, or not announced, but they, they revealed that. Avengers 4 is Hemsworth's last one in terms of contracts. Like, mm-hmm. his contract's up. So he oh, can I th- leave. I thought, thought it was like that for, like, everybody. Yeah. Like, Avengers I, is, like, the last no, one. No, I think oh, there are a couple of overlaps. Like, I know that, uh, I think Evans had an earlier one. I think Downey had an earlier one. Um, I don't know about Samuel L. Jackson, but, like, for whatever reason, they don't want to use him anymore, which is killing me, because, like, yeah, who doesn't yeah. want to see Nick Fury all the time? I mean, he's going to be in Infinity War, but, like, yeah. Be. Yeah, he's he's been missing from everything else. Like, okay, what has he been doing? Like, did he just say, "All right, guys, I'm gonna go underground," and he's just been <laughs> hanging out at home playing PC games? Like, right. that's what I'm curious about. Yeah, yeah no, that like, would be hilarious <laughs> if he pulls the Minecraft <laughs> line for Bruce Banner and he's, "Yo, guys, I'm trying to catch this this, this tiger thing. It's gonna be good." Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, <laughs> those those creepers keep blowing my shit up. <laughs> well, no, it, it's he's been, he's been he's been using the decommissioned helicarrier to chase after legendary Pokemon and Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> he's oh got nacho God, fingers. Fury, oh, let's not talk Fury, about that. We need All your right, help so... right now. Like Thanos has invaded the Earth. It's like almost, guys. They're supposed to be releasing the Mew today at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find it. <laughs> All right. So the next one. We're moving on to another episode. Bendis leaves Marvel in more the weekly poll. Yeah. No, Peyton Lowry. I'm gonna miss every week. 
I'm okay. a little sad about us going away from every oh. week, but I, at least in my opinion, I feel we have stronger shows having them every other week. I we, have, we have beefier topics. We have more worthwhile topics. This isn't us just grabbing the Newsarama news feed and calling it good. Joel! Yeah. What else was there to do? Plus, it gives us rest, which I think is nice, yeah. too. I think we're That's more charged thing. when we come in here. Yeah, I mean, it, it is fun. I, I feel like it was a lot of fun to talk to everyone every week. But at the same mm-hmm. time, th- we all eventually would get to a point where it's like, what the fuck are we going to talk about today? Like, I, yeah. I, I, I have nothing to talk about. I have nothing. So I feel yeah. I, I feel we do better with every other week and then throwing in the third, the, the additional when we need it kind of a thing. I yeah. agree. Right, Rob? Yes, what you guys said. <laughs> Tim Terrell, cool. all of Bendis' good Marvel stuff is before 2011. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Benny stroked out. <laughs> Wait, I, stro- well, we I stroked out? Now we may never know. Tim Terrell out, said. Ah, the stupid mystery. Skype is being dumb again. Everything is dumb. All all of Bendis' good stuff is before 2011. (laughs) That's not true. That is a little bit true. Invincible (laughs) Iron Man, International Iron Man was really good. Um, Jessica Jones is is was as solid as it was when it started in in 2000 or whatever. Yeah, I kind of feel like that because I know he was super hyped when they released a Netflix series, and I kind of feel like the Netflix series kind of reinvigorated his, his interest in the, what is it? Jessica Jones writing good. I think, he, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Words, it like reinvigorated right? his interest. And yeah. now, and now yeah. uh, he's having his stroke. <laughs> yeah, Rob's choking out. <laughs> oh man, the fan just write good, but not as good as he do before. <laughs> yeah. Agree. Sorrow in this in this damn podcast, man. <laughs> Uh, ben just write good, but take too many projects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes, he does. It's true. Right. He just he um, was too. Yeah, I, I <laughs> kind of agree with that because I can't think of much recent Bendis other than Miles that I've enjoyed. Yeah, uh, I, I've enjoyed good. his recent Iron Man. Defenders is really good. Well, uh, his enjoyed recent Iron Man, kind of his infamous Iron Man, kind of. Uh, Peter. Oh well, no, I love infamous Iron Man. Even the end. The last issue. Were you talking like where he? Yeah, where they fought Mephisto? Yeah. 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 Really. It was a, yeah, oh, I, I like that. I mean, I think it was kind of weird that Mephisto was just like, I did this just to give you a hard time. And then, like, that was... <laughs> that, <laughs> that sucks! Was, That's I love the voice you used. Like, you're like this old man, like, oh, I just yeah. gave you a hard time. It was funny. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's what it was. It's like, oh, man, Mephisto, why did you do this? Because I can. And, then, and where Mephisto and then, like, literally <laughs> stops and talks to the reader for, like, three pages. <laughs> it was, yeah. like, five pages. It was just, it wouldn't end. I'm like, what is happening? You know, I mean, it felt like a great tribute to Triumph and Torment, which is basically what the story was. No, it does not feel like a great... It felt oh, like it that felt like originally. Great, not, like a- no, yes. not by the end. No. Okay, sure. It lacked the whole "let's go to hell and fight Mephisto." Okay, think, yeah, it lacked that. But it kind of lacked the heart and soul of Triumph and Torment too. But you know, that's yeah. it was like twenty years ago. Yeah. You can't capture <laughs> the band. It's not great. Years ago. <laughs> uh. I don't. I, I'm just listening. I don't even know what's happening. So anyway, uh, Chris uh, try, try, okay. says, Triumph yes! and Torment was a story where Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom teamed up to try to rescue Doom's mom's soul. Yeah. From Mephisto. It's awesome. That happened. It's pretty badass. It's The Hellboy creator Mike Mignola drew it. It's yeah. great. So That's anyway, the most sal fact I've ever heard a person say before. Chris Hicks <laughs> so. says, yes, Joel with the double middle fingers. You must have flipped me off that episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I, was, I was giving you the old stone cold there for telling me to shut up. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, George uh, Avila, you got a penis and boobs. Benny confirmed trap lover. <laughs> oh, trap. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Who's going to have to explain this? To so I traps, love these, I love Joel, these uh, Sal, are guys who dress so convincingly like women in order to get men to, like, fall for it. Yeah. Is that, like, a have real you, thing, you... or is that just, like, a, like, a, a gay panic, like, fake thing that's not real no, I, that honestly it's i don't know if it's a real thing where like i i think i think I, I have an image of just guys in drag and then the whole trap thing started from well i fell for it oh no you know that kind of a thing <laughs> dude, I, dude, I've, I've seen some pretty damn convincing drag queens yeah like it's pretty insane how how like in people go Right, but they're not deliberately doing it to trick you into trying to like be with them and then you they're like whoa i got a dick <laughs> the, the crime hey, game. My name, my name's Samantha. Damn, Samantha, you look good as hell. Don't I though? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that sounds semi-autobiographical. There, did, did oh, that happen? Yeah. No, that did not happen. <laughs> it did not happen. Anyway, uh, uh, Greg Sanders. I'm so glad Bennis is leaving. However, I'm concerned that he will screw up everything in the DCU. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't think so. I don't think they'll. Watch. I think take it's a while. kind of a concern for a lot of people at the moment, honestly. Absolutely. I think, I think I think DC will keep him on a that, well. There's a reason they're making him write a batch of backup feature in action. They're keeping him on a very short leash. I imagine. Yeah. No, that Better I agree with. One project. I don't think DC is going to let him go bad, but I could see that being a very open concern considering mm-hmm. his track record with continuity. Yeah. I mean, the the editors at DC seem to play it pretty close to the vest. Like all this has to line up. Yeah. Like I mean, like honestly, from what I've seen, like Dark Knight's Metal is the only thing that's really kind of. Seems like it might be out of continuity a little bit, but like you read the other stories that are going on, and it's clear it takes place before some of the stories and after some of the stories. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, they're yeah. d- they're just not like blatantly going. It is here, but if you read them, you know what's happening. Here's yeah. the thing that you that you should watch out for: eagle-eyed people who are going to pick up the Bendis books, which is everybody. Uh, here's what you should look out for: uh, Bendis probably hasn't read as many DC books as Marvel books. He probably has a few favorites. In his Marvel writing, he had four favorites. <laughs> you can find them in everything he writes. I'll bet he has like four or five favorites with DC. You'll be able to pick them out after about ten or so issues of anything he writes. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee, like he will, like he'll, and he'll make like references to all of them. Yeah, you know, like he liked Triumph and Torment, which is why Irredeem- or in Irredeemable Iron Man or whatever became Infamous a sequel Iron Man. To it. <laughs> it's why, like, he read Doom yeah. Quest. Which is why Civil War was, according to his version of Iron Man, the re like the like the uh, he did he he launched Civil War because of Doom Quest. Like, <laughs> no, it's just but he read those books and so he's like, no 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 continuity. I read these four comics. <laughs> yeah, it fits into the continuity feeling- of those comics. You'll be able to tell who his favorites are when he's doing his action backup, but it'll be like, Superman's on a side adventure with Blue Beetle. And you're like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, no, there won't be any Blue... If he does Blue Beetle, he'll be like, he'll, it'll be like a joke. It'll be like a reference like he put Stiltman and Jessica Jones. Like, it won't be... No, I yeah. feel like it would be serious. I feel like it would be like, oh, so, you know, Doomsday's back. I, Superman, can only beat him with the help of one man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my favorite Reyes. character. <laughs> one teenager. Mm. Yeah. All right, next one. Yeah. So we can keep moving here. Uh, Momo Woods, best shut up Joel ever. I, f- I wish I could remember what I did in that one. <laughs> I know. They, they all run together at this point. <laughs> they do. I, literally, we're like at 100 and what, like 20 episodes? It's a hundred and t- uh, like 100 times of me telling Joel to shut I'm, up, guys. I'm <laughs> genuinely amazed no one has gone through and made like a super cut and set it to like Ode to Joy or something. And it's like half an hour's worth of shut up, Joel. So oh, yeah. They, they'll, they'll do cut. it now. We'll, we'll play it in the episode. We'll play it and make... Sal, listen. <laughs> Fine. Right, Jay Wolf. Comic pop e- equals the population. Comic story equals the monster squad. Comics explain equals the Rob core. Cape Joel equals caped crusaders. I guess. I don't think I've ever really named my fan base. You got to name your fans, dude. You really I should. Mean, I mean, yeah. the podcast is the comic multiverse. We have the comic multiverse universe, but we've never, I don't think I've named my own fans. Yeah, Crusader it's gotta, sounds it's good. It's got to be a name that rolls off the tongue. Give me the comic multiverse fans who enjoy our content. <laughs> That's the name of our fan base. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's got to roll off the but tongue, man. Brevity is the soul of what I, I like yeah. uh, Cape Joel Crusaders. Yeah, I might keep yeah. that one. That's no, just, just, call them, just call them the Cape Crusaders. Yeah, yeah. Cape All right. Crusaders. Because right. impl- the Cape is, is, is implied because it's Cape Joel. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Joel registers some domains. The Joel's the Joelites. No, fast no likes. All right. Nah. Now, uh, <laughs> Patrick <laughs> Hudson says, "I usually listen to the weekly poll while I'm working. Gotta say, it's funny to watch Sal's reaction faces." <laughs> mm. It is. They're hilarious. Thank the you. funny thing is, he makes those faces when you like in real life too. Like he does. Yeah. Yes. You, you tell you tell him something like that in real life, and he'll just be like, <laughs> "I'll be like, all right." It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Zach G. Sometimes I'm like, shut up, Benny. I, th- I think we all are. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a point in, in the three to four years we've been doing this. I think there's a point multiple times throughout the year that that Rob, Sal, Tiffany, even Tiffany, the nice one, are all like, I just wish he would shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> I I love that react. You were like, I, th- I think we all are. <laughs> I mean, you, you guys act like I'm oblivious to the fact that I'm loud, obnoxious, and interrupt people. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He just doesn't care. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Rob's yeah. talking to his dog. Yeah. We all know that. And yes. he's adorable. <laughs> Max doggy. Max, you I wouldn't notice. That's why oh, we did. I was like, I'm moving to Colorado. I'm like, you realize this, that means more of me, Rob. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I have learned to regret that decision. <laughs> <laughs> uh. it, 
Joel, people are naming your followers in the comments. I'd, I'd pay attention. I like oh, Joel God. holes. Oh. I saw Joel. that one too. Oh, Joel holes? The followers of Joel? Uh, you gotta Joel. pay the Joel tolls. <laughs> the fellowship of the Joels. <laughs> wow. Oh. All right, all right. So, Amazing Zero. Damn, I really did not know how to take this news. Bendis was there for me when I first started reading a Marvel comic, but as an artist, after 17 years plus work of being the Marvel comic ar architect, I can only really think... I'm assuming he meant thank. Thank him for everything that he's done and look forward to his new work. So really yeah, nice he's content. made some huge contributions. Continuity aside, he yeah. built the Ultimate Universe. Yeah. Uh, some of the best Avengers stories came out of the mid-2000s from him. Yep. I mean, he's done a lot of work when it comes to crafting some great stuff. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm. right. He's minted for life now. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we can all agree with that one. Uh, yeah. Next yeah. up, Justice League reactions and more. Chris Panaz, someone cast Betty White is great at goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that that would man that would be rough. <laughs> and please do it now while yeah. there's time. Um, yeah. we got RJ Godzilla eighty one. Bendis leaves, then Bre Brevor is fired. And now Alonzo leaves. What's next? Somebody better tell Slot to get his shit together, or he'll be next. <laughs> Brevor was time. not fired, but yeah, I I, I still agree. Uh no, actually, I just thought about this. Have you guys noticed Bendis is doing the same thing Claremont did? Oh. Claremont wrote the X-Men for 17 years and then left to go to DC. <laughs> the problem is that Claremont wrote Sovereign 7, and that story sucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, is that, like, Claremont, like, yeah, he went to DC, and, like, what was his major contribution that we all <laughs> enjoy? X-Men. not a backup through an actual comics. All yeah, right, William just learned Sane, from that. Sainsky says, Hey, guys, love your stuff. Just got back into DC Comics with Batman Rebirth. Do you guys have any recommendations for DC Rebirth? Oh, uh, Green Lanterns, if you want to start getting into Green Lantern. How's Jordan, if you're familiar with Green Lanterns? Um, honestly, my, my, yeah, my, standout, my standouts are Superman and Batman. Love yeah, those stories. They really are good. Yeah. You, yeah. you really can't lose. Everything is really good right now, and it's rare Except to be able to say that. Except for the Justice League. Ah, hey, Chris Priest is taking in some interesting directions. I'm going to follow I love this story arc. right now. The People versus the Justice League? Yeah, oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I like that one a lot. G given the Leaguers yeah. Avengers problems. Right. All right, yeah. so, uh, Miles Upshur, miss you guys. Congrats on Sal and Tiff. Thank Aww. you. Aw, thanks. Yeah, congratulations on Sal and Tiff, not to Sal and Tiff. So I guess, thank you, guys. Thank <laughs> you for the congratulations on Sal and Tiff. Yeah. Uh, it's over 9,000 production. Sal, Sal's rant about Andy Circus has my fucking ribs splitting from laughter. <laughs> I wasn't even there, but I can guess what it was all about, so. <laughs> yeah, Andy Circus is a real button for you. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Like, you were ranting about how Andy Serkis plays everything. Yeah, he's overrated. <laughs> we don't need to re-rant. They can watch that episode. All right. Exactly. Just watch Disney it. Disney bought Fox Plus the weekly poll status update. Lucio, Rob, I've watched how many se Rob, you've watched how many seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but you dump on Runaways? That's funny. Oh, I just thought, I'm okay. What I, in truth, Runaways isn't really for me. I mean, in hindsight, it's not terrible. Dude, you know what show is good? Fucking gifted. I know, right? Holy shit. Dude, I've been getting caught up on gifted. And I was like, wow. So like Sage, the Stepford Cuckoos, like mm -hmm. uh, Lorna Dane is relevant for the first time in like 40 <laughs> years. Like, Ahab. I was like, yeah, dude, I was like, dude, this is this is crazy. Like Dr. Campbell's a stand in for William Stryker. They have the purifiers. They grab the hounds from Days of Future Past and threw them in there. I was oh, like, yeah. holy hell, man, this thing is a treasure trove of references. They're, they're <laughs> doing some deep cuts. Like I did not yeah. expect it to be as good. I talked mad shit about Gifted before it started. Now I'm glad I'm in for at least yeah. another season until they so, do So, I mean, I, I thought about like, I might try that. Just like, like explain everything from season one, like as, as soon as season two's announced. I don't know where Gifted will stand though with season two. That's the big question. Yeah. I mean, I hope they continue it. Yeah. Um, okay, so the Ace versus Knight versus Knight. Oh, okay, what a weird name. Um, <laughs> Marvel can now do Secret Wars, Annihilation, War of the Kings, Avengers versus X-Men, House of M, Original Sin, Age of Apocalypse, Triumph and Torment, Hype! <laughs> that, that's yep. all it says. I can't argue with that. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a not shitty version of Apocalypse. Like, hopefully we'll get the Apocalypse <laughs> where it's like, hey, just so you know, when the X-Men fight me, they never win. So, because <laughs> I'm OP I get, as uh, shit. I just get bored and tired and leave. Yeah, <laughs> and leave. And that's like, the no dream right the there. Vessel. What's funny is my favorite Apocalypse is actually almost the animated series Apocalypse. The line I always think of, it's not even from the comics, I don't think, but it's the one where he says, I am as far beyond mutants as they are beyond Yes! Oh, I'm like, I, I want that, that Apocalypse. Yeah. Yes. Actually, the voice actor for him died some time ago, but oh, no, yeah, okay. I want, I want like, the apocalypse is full of hubris. 
Yeah. You know. Where he's like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm God, manifest on Earth. Like the yeah. end. Like, like you can't, you can't beat me because you know, you would have already done it if you could. So, <laughs> you <know. laughs> yeah, and not like having Poe Dameron try it because that sucked. Yeah. Uh, actually, I mean, I'd, see, that's the crazy thing. I love Oscar Isaacs. Did he's not right. like Apocalypse. No, it's just, it was just mid- it would be like no. It's just it's a bad idea. Just don't do it. Yeah. Okay, Mark Lewis. Hey guys, don't pick on Canada. Remember Wolverine's Canada. <laughs> It's true. I actually well, it's it's all of Canada. Hey guys, don't pick on Canadian. Remember, uh, Wolverine oh. is Canadian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, no, and I'm others. And others, eh? <laughs> 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 nope, just Wolverine, apparently. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. hey guys, don't forget Alpha Flight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they've retconned a couple other characters to be Canadian. Uh, I, I think one of the one of the DC Stranges, he's Canadian now. We also have. Cree, who Jeff Lemire was really excited in making, and then she disappeared. Oh. Christopher oh. Hicks says, Merry Christmas, motherfucker, from Joel. I don't know what that's <laughs> thing. Thank you. Wow. Just, just, right back at you, sir. It. Yeah, right back at you. M- <laughs> I like this one. Death Trooper <laughs> Clone Trooper says, No paywall, guys. You're basically EA. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to yeah. wait a week for your episode. EA. We are EA. Not yeah. until we start selling you overpriced loot boxes, which we're working no, no. on. Not until we start charging you per question. <laughs> yeah. Per <laughs> topic. I'm sorry, guys. We'd like to answer your question, but you need to buy the 9.99 premiere pack to get your answers. <laughs> I'm so yep. sorry. And if you want, <laughs> and, and if you want Sal and Tiffany, that would actually be the duplex pack. So that's 14.99. Ooh. And you have to wait. You have to wait for the rent deal. You actually discount the rest of it if you put Joel into it. <laughs> oh. It's the best bargain. <laughs> bargain, Joel. <laughs> Kylo uh, has subbed Rob. He's asking for his splooge. Yeah, what happened? You were so on the ball, Rob. Splooge. That was, was very messy. Balls. Yeah. That was a loving splooge. <laughs> that was loving? Whispered gently. <laughs> I mean, well, that probably explains why my girlfriends keep running off. <laughs> Uh, Brando Vader, everyone's favorite resident weirdo kid. <laughs> Can someone get me a splooge compilation for personal reasons? We really uh, don't that. We're just, it's just him saying sp- just the splooge part for like a thousand freaking videos. That'd be amazing. <laughs> well, what song would you set it to for the compilation? That's yeah, the real uh, question. I believe I can fly. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> I mean, Sexual I don't know. Ah. Uh, no, no, you got to put it to like Yanni music or something. Ooh. Yanni. I don't know. <laughs> Yanni like, music. <laughs> what? Ooh, yeah. uh, All right. John Fedian. And my week is complete. Thank you, guys. I really want to see Joel featured on Eligible Monster. We don't no. like Canadians. No. <laughs> I mean, I, I, no. I mean, this is the, the, this has been proven. This is this is canon. They don't. There's a there's a Canadian glass ceiling. I cannot break through on eligible monster. <laughs> one day, yeah, there's one no, day we'll uh, get him on there. All right. There's no no com- Canadians allowed. What was that, Rob? What? What'd you say? Well, you you would know if you hadn't interrupted me. Oh, well, you you think you're used to it? Anyway, uh, our favorite comics of 2017. <laughs> nice. Huh. Oh, this says Bannon subpoena. I thought it said Bacon subpoena. Like we call Bacon <laughs> here today to question Bacon about why it's so delicious. Why, <laughs> why, are, why are you so delicious, Bacon, when you're pan seared and crispy? Rob's totally God. invested in this episode. Dude, yeah, I am. Really dude, invested. I am. Dude, Bacon sounds so good right now. It does. Trial I want to go get breakfast. Get yeah. Max to make it for you. Get Max. Let me tell you something, man. I would freak the hell out if I come downstairs and Max is just like sizzling big. He's like, oh, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, hey. It's like, it's like I, I, Max, well, why are you making bacon? It's like, well, you know, it just sounded good. No, I mean, like, how are you as a dog able to make bacon, Max? <laughs> you know, Explain that. I, think that's, I have a weird feeling that's that that would be a weird call thing. from Rob. Benny, I, my dog's making bacon. I, I just yeah. need you to come and confirm that this is actually happening and I'm not tripping balls. <laughs> yeah. How many also, brownies did you eat, Rob? Meanwhile, also, all we, of our phones suddenly go, and we're. No, look at my dog. I would make a video out of that, man. That shit would go viral. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, YouTube would demonetize it, but it would go viral. <laughs> so I would be like, oh, maybe like a dog making bacon. It's probably political. Mm-hmm. 
Probably the one. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's was it? anyone we've decided. They demonetize uh, woman. And for everyone who was trying to defend YouTube on that, maybe it's your tags. Maybe it's your... No, you know what the video had on it? The preset tags that have been on every single video that is uploaded to Comic Story in four years and does not get demonetized. We uploaded Wonder Woman Brother demonetized. We uploaded Wonder Woman demonetized. We uploaded WW Brother monetized. Oh. <laughs> Weird. Meanwhile, wow. the murder machine is fine, though. Yeah. yeah. Like how to kill superheroes? That's fine. Right. <laughs> Gustavo Herrera. Salad ever married now? Dude, you are damn lucky, man. Add another 20 congrats comments here. <laughs> Thank, wow. you. Dude. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Dude. Dude. Man. Seymour Manning. Wrong? No shut up, Joel? I guess I forgot to shut you up that day. You did. You forgot that one. Huh. Whoa. Shut up, Joel? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Star Wars without the title crawl. What? Yeah. <laughs> and he was actually That's polite different. about it. Like... Angel Rios, fantastic episode. Daniel Parrish, on which Twitch channel does this podcast air? Twitch.tv slash Eligible Monster. Every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Well, every other Tuesday. It, whenever you show up, it's on the schedule. You can see when it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Red Hood, I'm so glad you guys are back. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so glad that you guys are back. This was, oh, after, oh, this was after all the hiatuses because of everything. Else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Red Hood, we appreciate it. I'm glad to know that in your off time, when you're not murdering folks, uh. you're watching the Weekly Pool. I appreciate that. I was going to that. say, that's the nicest thing Jason Todd has ever said to anybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Harley Pope. Hey, guys, please consider doing a video about your top favorite comic panels of all time. They can highlight some of the particularly important or just straight up looking amazing ones. Yeah. Uh, well, my, my top, my top five favorite panels are the ones that I've been in. Um, <laughs> no, actually, actually one of the most exciting panels to go to was the Jeff Johns one where he was talking about doomsday clock Dude, the excitement in that room was insane. I think they meant was, panels was... as in panels from the comic. Yeah. Like the actual like images. Oh, I literally thought Rob was doing a bit and then he launched it into <laughs> the doomsday thing. And I'm like, he's not, he's not doing no, exactly. I'm a bit. <laughs> I was on a roll. I wasn't going to stop him. No, my, my, my favorite panel of all time is when, like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a series of panels, but it's, like, maybe the page where, yeah. like, Franklin Richards is like, to me, Michael Atkins. It's, like, the coolest thing. It's dope. One of my favorites, yeah. It's pretty badass. I like the one that junkie. just came out in Injustice 2 when uh, Batman had someone very close to him get lost, and uh, mm. he sprayed someone with fear toxin. It was this giant freaky bat and he's like i'm gonna fuck you up i was like oh my god <laughs> batman swears <laughs> dude i dude, I, I love because it's, it's like the whole like he looks menacing he looks terrifying as hell yeah yeah like, jesus all right random cool. comments on random videos thanks Mel, but you couldn't even take the time to write which video it was <laughs> here we go wow evie why won't the guy stop eating chicken oh, i remember those <laughs> oh, used all these the years Faust later chicken video Dude, somebody asked me that. What in the hell ever happened to Faust? He's doing comic stuff again. He just hasn't reached out to us. He, he, did, huh. he really? gave up YouTube for like a year. Then he went over to doing anime stuff. And now he's doing comics yep. again. And he just hasn't reached out. That was so. good. Wow. Huh. I guess he talks well, to Caitlin go. on the side. So. Oh, well, there you go. Because Caitlin's the one that filled me in. <sighs> huh. All right. Huh. Risey Lee, you guys rock. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Two months you in a row, too. Rob. I think that, uh, that, that has... Two, two, two splooges. Oh! <laughs> I was going on like, I went on like three hours of sleep. Hyperion! 5-1-A-2. <laughs> Runaways, Sal, we are now an award-winning podcast. We know Sal. <laughs> that must have Thank been like right after we won the award or something. Yeah. Because we kept saying it like that like a dozen times. Right. It's an award-winning uh, podcast. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Uh, Greg Young, where's the link to the Discord? Uh, let's put it in the chat right now. And Fred, yeah. Fred Bushy has subscribed with $5 sub. Oh, $5 foot long. Nope. <laughs> Splooch. I like when Benny says something and he's like, I can't believe I just said that. Yeah, but yeah. I just say things all the time. I, I committed. I'm committed to it. Diego, Rob, you would look amazing with Tiffany's hair. Well, who wouldn't? Rob would look amazing with my hair. <laughs> I can't argue Rob, with that, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I kind of like, I like my hair being short. Nah, dude, you like, with with long hair. Yeah, you'd be like, hey guys, what's up? Here's a here's a here's a fun fact. Here's a really fun fact. When I was a little kid, I had great big huge curls in my hair, like the way your cur your hair is curled at like the tips. 
Like uh-huh. when it comes down here and it curls at the tips, like yeah. that's how mine was. And uh, my dad shaved it all off, and it, it grew back just like, like <laughs> oh, it is now. It's, it's nowhere near as like soft and curly as it was. Oh. But like where, where the curls and everything came down, it's not like that anymore. <laughs> but, maybe, but we can make it that way. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't. I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, no. We'll make this happen. <laughs> I don't want great big shoes like curls. <laughs> my hair, that's weird. No, nah, we'll style it. It'd be great. <laughs> you know, if I grow my if I grow my hair out enough, it gets like really, really curly. Then it gets really poofy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's true. Watch old videos of Rob's. You'll see it. Yeah, yeah you'll um, see it. I can't pronounce his name. Not even gonna try. But st- Joel, stop saying Kevin Feige. It's Feige. It's tomato. It's tomato. tomato. Yeah, exactly. It is. Follow your heart. And the last one on here is just R Y saying thank you for your videos. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you for watching them. Yeah. Thank you for watching them. And uh, I'm just going to read some, <laughs> yes. uh, some Twitter com- Twitch comments real quick before we wrap up the show. Uh, Crunson says, don't you love long, luxurious hair, Rob? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> tell- what? Rob, seriously, like the first day, he'd be weirded out by the whole thing. But like by day two, he'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. He'd just I, flip I would. it while he talks. I would look fantastic. I would be like, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, the head bob would go with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, if I do, yeah. just has a mind of its own. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, man, Rob, what'd you do to your hair? I'd be like, bitch, I'm fabulous. Right? <laughs> Rob would be doing a lot more dramatic turns so that the hair could, like, <laughs> blow in the breeze. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd set up a fan so it's, like, all blowing while he's talking. Yeah. <laughs> Fat Snorlax says, read me. Longtar says he loves us. Tevia says, hey, Rob, how do you fix Marvel? Uh, I don't know. Shifty <laughs> says to Photoshop Tiff's hair on Rob. <laughs> no! I think somebody was going to do that. Oh, it's do happening. It. Coma it's says, I'm happen. telling you, Rob's anime ponytails are real. Tsunami <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. says, keep up the great content. Crunson says, fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> and he said it just like that, too. Stuart Caden's wants a everything. sub-goal for Rob's hair. I, to do what? Like, he's not going to just grow it out as a sub-goal. <laughs> Takes time. Yeah, it's hair. I have to <laughs> well, at 500 subs, Rob will stop cutting his hair. <laughs> uh, hey, he'll get yeah, some he'll, extensions. He'll grow. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. We'll, we'll get him some extensions going on there. And the expensive guy. Original Bad yeah. Dad says the best show ever. I hope he means this one because this was a fun idea. I had a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> we never get to see the reactions. <laughs> <laughs> who? Uh, oh. Class says who would win Daredevil or Batman? Uh, oh, uh, Batman. 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 He's writing. He'd be like, I mean, he, he would he would fight him for two seconds and go, this motherfucker's blind. Yeah. <laughs> man, this, this dude, man, this bitch blind as hell. I'm like, well, you guess what I'm gonna do? It's like I'm I'm just gonna like I'm gonna throw acid in your eyes. Or something <laughs> he like literally that. just he would go like, oh, so you, it's a sonar, it's a radar sense, friggin' bat. Like he would hit like his like bat retrieval button. On oh his yeah. And it would probably just completely throw Daredevil. It's the same reason why Batman would beat Spider-Man. He'd be like, "Dude knows where I'm coming from every like from every angle. He's got like a danger warning sense. I'll just hit him with from every angle with danger. Like you know, just he would, <laughs> that's probably how Batman <laughs> would superpower that does that. He'd be like, the whole building's gonna crumble. Figure out where I'm coming from now, motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That'd be funny. But no, Spider-Man spider sense would be like, oh, of all the danger, that's the most dangerous danger. And then like, <laughs> and then it would pick up Batman. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. I love this one, uh, Ace versus Knight. Uh, didn't I just read your comment on the sh- channel on YouTube? <laughs> no. Otherwise, there is another Ace versus Knight out there, and you two need to <laughs> battle for supremacy. <laughs> there can be only one. He says, uh, Marvel was number one in comics in 2017. Any opinions? Uh, that The list that has been posted out is shipped comics, not bought comics. The well, prob- it's also all number ones. Yeah, all mm. number ones. Uh, the prob- the, it, for the record, the generally sales listings are very hard to gauge. I'm not saying that they weren't number one, but sales listings are very hard to gauge because the way comic books work is you have to go, I'm going to buy 30 as a retailer. You have to go, I'm going to buy 30 of mm. this comic. And mm. then you sit on them hoping other people buy them. So the, the sales listings is comic shops going, hey, I want 30 of Iron Man. And then if they don't sell, then they complain to Marvel, but they get stuck on the shelves. So it's very hard to gauge. That's why shops have been shutting down. That's why they're complaining to Marvel, because they'll buy a ton of the issue that Marvel says will sell, and then it sits on the shelves. 
Yep. But that's why sales reports, as far as comic goes, are very hard to gauge, and normally it goes yep. by ratings and reviews and things like that. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Just sidetrack for a second. Um, what is this? Uh, the Verge just confirmed what Emergency also said earlier. YouTube channels eligible for the partner program have to have 4,000 hours of overall watch time on their channel within the past 12 months and have at least 1,000 subscribers. Okay. Wow. There you go. Otherwise, you get cut off. You don't get to apply. Wow. That's crazy. So, wow. Imagine, you know, imagine Patreon's like, hey, you don't have to have a thousand subscribers to be able to, to, you know, come over here or Facebook watch. I'd be like, hey, guess, guess what, guys? Monetization is open to everybody. Like, yeah. we're, we're not going to cut you off. Like, <laughs> God, so, YouTube is just killing themselves. But no, just, just to end the other thing, I mean, that, I'm going to read that article, actually. See, like, is that just YouTube's just gut reaction? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how getting rid of the people under a thousand subs fixes potential people filming a dead body. Like, that doesn't... <laughs> It's shooting yourself in the foot. It's making sure you won't get the next binging with Babish or the next big like breakout YouTube star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Agreed. Dumb. So anyway, yeah. No, as far as the sales go, it is very hard to gauge. That's why if you look at the one that's going around, Batman's the number one thing on there because every retailer buys every Batman book in mass quantities, regardless of its selling. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's crazy. It is. So anyway, it's that is world. the end of today's show. We, we went a little bit longer since I had so many startup problems. Um, we're just going to blame it on Rob since he went to the post office today. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Hey, Rob, <laughs> you've been Fine. shamed. Shame. 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 God, I shame. love that shit, Al. <laughs> so. Shame. <laughs> we started Mom, losing Rob. You can tell when his eyes start looking at his, his articles that we're like half losing <laughs> him. So he's half losing like, something the conversation. <laughs> I am fully engaged in the conversation, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, we love you. Uh, He's checking his guys, email. He's episode. ordering dinner. Thank you so much for however many years we've been doing this now. Uh, we didn't have yeah. a lot of good, good topics. We thought this would be a fun one to do, and I had a lot of fun doing it. Maybe we'll do more in the future. Mm. Agreed. Yeah. Amen, man. Don't forget, yeah, if you want to support the weekly poll, um, any subscriptions that come through during today or tomorrow will go to funding. Uh, Danielle, the individual who actually handles all the uploads, the cutting the video down from Twitch, all that stuff that needs to be done to make this upload everywhere else. Um, and you also get access to the video and stuff like that. Uh, as far as uh, the usual Twitch thing, guys, we'll be back on Thursday with more Twitch shows. You'll have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, we'll be Twitch this week. There will be no weekly poll next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday... In theory, should be one. We we don't we. Everyone says they can be there, but it's two weeks away, so we gotta like verify when we get closer. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Did everybody write that down? Okay, good. <laughs> now, don't for know your homework today, Tiffany would like thirty questions as to why Batman is the best, and she will grade your answers next episode. <clears throat> That's right. She's like, thanks for showing huh, up, show you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. well, there you go. So, all right. We got one more sub right as we're going, Rob. Give us, give a final splooge. Splooge. Judge ja, ja. <laughs> Splooge. <laughs> That's your final. I got two of them, Rob. Yeah. Oh, we do. We have a second one. Splooge. <clears throat> Is this your final countdown, Splooge? <laughs> <laughs> it's the final <laughs> Splooge. <down. laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for today. We will see you right here in two weeks. And if you just want to come hang out with me and the rest of the crew, we'll be back on Thursday playing some Final Fantasy VII. Hope to see you all there. Have a good one. Yep. Peace.